Are you tired of slugs munching their way through your garden? Hmm. Today, I'm going to show you a neat trick to outsmart slugs. And I'm going to debunk a myth about slugs that's been around for a long time. Hi, I'm Marian Owen, the gardener's coach, and my goal in life is to help you create your dream garden the best way I know how. So let's get started talking about those slimy things. If you like to grow lettuce, but you don't like to battle slugs munching on your salad greens, then I think you'll find this video especially helpful. It's something I've observed over the past mm, 35 years of gardening. So let's pretend that a slug sees lettuce on the menu. Mmm, -mm, yum. Red lettuce and green lettuce. Now, if given a choice, which do you think it prefers? Red lettuce or green lettuce? Hey, let's, let's try something different here. How about casting your vote in the comments below? Would that be for red lettuce or green lettuce? Let me know what you think. From what I've observed, nine times out of 10, slugs go for the green lettuce and avoid the red. So why is that? Well, red lettuce is more bitter thanks to anthocyanins. That's the compound or pigment that gives flowers its blue color. Oh, and, and foods like blueberries, raspberries, even black rice. Anthocyanins are mildly astringent. That's the bitter taste. Now, it's time to cry foul on a myth I've come across for a long time. You know, it's like these these lists of plants that slugs don't like. Fuzzy leaves, for example. Well, take a look at these blue poppy leaves. Slugs sure like them. And here's another one. Slugs don't like Swiss chard. Well, that's silly. Of course they do. And, and celery. Slugs don't like celery. Well, shoot. I grow celery in pots to keep the slugs out. Lots of people say that slugs don't like veggies that are spicy, like onions. Well, that's not true. Potatoes? Hello! Check out these leaves. Rhubarb? Right. And many berries are said to be safe. Well, that's a crock. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten ready to dig into a big, juicy, say, strawberry, only to find that there's a slug already inside of it. Ick! Slugs will eat most anything that grows. So let me tell you something. I'm working on communicating with slugs. I'll let you know how it goes. How about you? Let's talk about this. I'm thinking that a good defense is to pick and choose plants to grow as best you can. I mean, grow veggies that slugs might avoid. I say might avoid because your conditions might be completely different than mine. Say, if you had a choice between growing red lettuce or green lettuce, you might probably choose the red lettuce. So give it your best shot. Trust the process. Try different varieties, green lettuce, red lettuce, whatever. Be a citizen scientist and observe any differences. And hey, send me a picture, send me a photo. Because one thing's for sure, a slug can't run away when you try to take their picture. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful and mildly entertaining. Meanwhile, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy gardening, blessings to you, and cheers.